Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lollipop and today we are covering the changes to the Trek Excalibur 8 for 2022. Now we already saw some great updates and changes to the Excalibur 9 for 2022, so if you are interested in that bike, definitely check out that video linked to the top right of the screen right now, as well as in the description of this video below. But since Trek is releasing each of the new Excaliburs separately, this video will only focus on the 2022 Excalibur 8. And at the end of this video, I will be completing this table and highlighting all of these changes in one place, and I will give my thoughts on if these changes are worth the new price point. And if you do enjoy videos like these, I'd greatly appreciate you liking this video and subscribing to my channel. But the Excalibur 8 is the mid-range model in the Excalibur lineup, and it is designed as a lightweight and fast cross-country mountain bike. However, these bikes can be a do-it-all style of bike, as they do have mounting points for a rear rack and for a kickstand, and they are generally comfortable enough for longer rides. And while I'm mentioning those frame details, I will say right now that the frame has not been updated for 2022, but I will still show the frame geometry on the screen right now if you are interested. For the new year, the XCAL 8 has received some new components, so let's get into those, starting with the price. The Excalibur 8 in 2021 was priced at 1330 US dollars or 1075 British pounds, while the new bike does increase $170 more to $1500. And this bike has not been released in the UK yet, so I do not have an official price in pounds, but I will add that in an update comment below if I do notice it. The next change is of course going to be to the colors. The 2021 XCAL 8 in the United States only came in one color, which was radioactive red with Trek black accents, while in some other countries it also came in a lithium gray color with Trek black accents. The 2022 bike now replaces both of these colors with satin lithium gray, as well as a crystal white with red accents. Then for the actual components, we'll quickly begin with the rear hubs. So the 2021 bike came with Formula DC hubs, while the new bike goes to the Bontrager Alloy hub. The old bike used a Shimano 10-speed free hub for the SRAM drivetrain, while the 2022 model uses a Shimano Microspline free hub for the Shimano drivetrain, which I will discuss later. Moving on, we have the tires. The 2021 Excalibur 8 used 29-inch Bontrager XR3 comp tires, which were not tubeless ready. They were 30 TPI and were 2.2 inches wide for all sizes, though the extra small and small frame size bikes did use 27.5 inch diameter wheels to make those bikes a bit more comfortable for shorter riders. For 2022, however, the tires have been completely swapped out and upgraded to the Maxxis Ardent Race tires, which are tubeless ready, have a higher TPI of 60 threads per inch, which essentially means they are more forgiving and flexible over rough terrain, and they are now wider at 2.35 inches for better stability. Then the extra small and small frame size bikes also still use 27.5 inch wheels. The tread pattern on these Maxxis tires is also a bit more aggressive for better traction, and this is also a great time to mention that with these tubeless tires, Trek also sets this bike up tubeless from the factory, so it does not come with inner tubes anymore. Having your bike set up tubeless is an amazing upgrade since you will never get pinch flats ever again, and you are much less likely to get flats in general. It also allows you to run a lower PSI in your tires so you can get more grip. And next, we can talk about the handlebar. So this one is just a small update since both bikes use the same model of handlebar, but in 2021, the width was 720 millimeters in most sizes, while in 2022, it is now 750 millimeters in sizes large and above to give larger riders more control over the bike. And finally, we can discuss the main change to this bike for 2022, which is of course to the drivetrain. So for an overview, first, the 2021 XCAL 8 used a full SRAM SX Eagle 1x12 drivetrain, which is actually the lowest level drivetrain that SRAM offers for mountain biking. However, it is still pretty good. The new bike goes to a Shimano drivetrain, actually, 
and it is mainly the Shimano Dior M6100 1x12 drivetrain, although it does have a Shimano Dior XT rear derailleur. This Shimano drivetrain is more comparable to the SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain, which is already a step above the SRAM SX. For some of the drivetrain components, I'll start off by mentioning that the 2021 bike came with the SX Eagle shifter from SRAM, which can shift up to 5 gears at a time when going to an easier gear for climbing, while the Dior M6100 shifter can only shift up to 3 gears at a time. Besides this, the shifters are both pretty good, but they do have a different feel, so it's mainly up to the rider which one they like better. I personally prefer the Shimano in this case, since it does feel more refined and durable. The next component we can talk about is the derailleur. The 2021 bike uses the SX Eagle rear derailleur, which works well if it is set up correctly, but this derailleur is known to have issues as it does not use very high quality materials for construction. The Shimano XT derailleur on the new bike, however, is a big upgrade from the SX, and it is much more comparable to the SRAM GX rear derailleur. The XT is much quicker, smoother, and more durable than the SX, and it will require less maintenance. And of course, both of these derailleurs do have clutch mechanisms to add tension on the chain. For the front crank sets, both bikes use their respective 32th SRAM or Shimano cranks, and there's not much of a difference here besides the look. There is a difference in the rear cassettes, however, since the 2021 Excalibur uses a SRAM SX Eagle cassette with 11 teeth on the smallest cog and 50 teeth on the largest cog, while the 2022 Excal 8 uses a Shimano Dior M6100 10 to 51 tooth cassette. This new cassette has a wider range, which also gives you a harder gear to go faster, as well as an easier gear for climbing uphill. And of course, I'll also mention that both bikes use a threaded bottom bracket associated with their respective drivetrains. The last difference I'll discuss now is the weight of each bike. Now the 2021 Excalibur 8 in a size medium officially weighs around 30.42 pounds or 13.8 kilograms, but the new bike does not have an official weight yet. However, estimating based on the tubeless wheels and other lighter components, I'd say that the new bike will weigh around 29 pounds or even less, but I'll add an update in the comment section below if Trek does update this. But yeah, those are all the updates to the Trek Excalibur 8 from 2021 to 2022. Here's that completed table highlighting all of the differences in one place, but now it's time to talk about my opinion on these upgrades and if they are worth the money. So looking through every single component on these two bikes, I would personally say that everything is an upgrade. The new hub is slightly better, the tires are definitely a lot better because they are wider and set up tubeless, and of course the Dior 1x12 drivetrain is amazing, and it is a level above the SRAM SX from last year, and especially with that XT derailleur, it's going to be a lighter, faster, more durable, and more reliable drivetrain than before. But of course, these are my thoughts, and I'm always ready to hear uh, feedback and your thoughts as well, so feel free to leave any comments down below since I do read all of them. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching, and remember to keep biking.